bone crushing fatigue that you feel when you're in the heart of it, it just leeches into your life. And that's just my everyday. It all started in February 2020. Steve McCauley got terribly sick with what his doctors thought was a viral bronchitis. But after months of prolonged sick symptoms, McCauley and his doctors believed he was suffering from long COVID. Trying to figure out why I was still lethargic, why my lungs were still shot, uh, still having chest pains, aches, uh, the omnipresent brain fog. Almost two years after his initial sickness, McCauley says he still has chronic fatigue and difficulty concentrating, which impacts his ability to work. I have been able to work full time in two years. Um, uh, time spent with my family, time spent in my community with friends, it's all extremely curtailed. It's like I live in a, a kind of a half life because I have half energy. AHS said in an email that as of December 16th, 2021, they estimate that over 68,000 Albertans have or will develop symptoms that could be considered long COVID. A co-director of a long COVID clinic in Edmonton says diagnosing long COVID in patients is difficult. Because there's no blood markers that's been identified that can give you a diagnosis with long COVID, this is all really based on history. Steve McCauley found solace in Facebook groups like Long COVID Canada, where long COVID sufferers can share their stories and treatments that have helped them. I was very glad to read the stories because it's validation for you. It's confirmation. You're not crazy. On a personal note, I myself got COVID two weeks ago and my fatigue and nausea persist. But after talking to Dr. Lamb, I know to keep an eye on my symptoms and tell my family doctor if they last for longer than three months. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.